I started racing in uh, South Africa when I was five years old and um, you know my mother bought me my first motorcycle when I was five and we didn't have many local tracks down there to ride at. We only had maybe about three tracks to ride at. That was uh, that was within an hour. So it was hard to travel, you know. Obviously, also being in school, it was uh, it was hard to just get uh, you know obviously time off and and go down to the local track. So you know it was it was definitely tough growing up in South Africa. You know, obviously my parents didn't have any money, so it was uh, it was kind of hard in the beginning, a bit of a struggle, and then uh, you know finally. Uh, you know, started racing up, got into the ADCC and, um, you know, a guy by the name of Tina Snell sponsored me and he took me over to Europe and uh, in 2000 and ever since then that's when, uh, that's when I've turned pro. So it's been, uh, it's definitely been great, you know, obviously going over to Europe in 2000 and obviously, you know, spending eight years there in my career racing over there and uh, trying to get as good as I can and managed to win a world championship in 2008 and uh, 2009, I decided to come over to America yeah, and race for Pro Circuit, and here I am today, still racing. Obviously, Greg Albertan and Grant Langston, you know, they were they they idols for all the kids in South Africa. You know, they went over to Europe, won World Championships, came over to America, and they've won championships. Yeah, so I think every kid for growing up in South Africa, it's, uh, they always look up to them. It's definitely, especially Albertan was uh, was the guy who first. Uh, put the stepping stone out there for us. So, you know, it's, uh, it was definitely great to, to watch him race when I was a kid growing up and, uh, you know, obviously watching him in Supercross and uh, obviously watching him win the three world titles in, uh, in Europe was also definitely something that, uh, that was going to stay in my memories. My first year coming over in 2009, I really struggled a bit, you know, was obviously I wasn't used to the traveling, getting to different time zones, waking up so early in the morning, getting to the track, you know, you've got different tracks here compared to, to Europe, so it was definitely tough, you know, it's uh, my first year, and I think for every rider that comes over from Europe, the first year is always uh, a bit of a learning year, you could say, to learn the tracks, to learn the schedule and everything, so, I mean, it was definitely tough in the beginning, but, you know, after the first year, once I got that out of the way, uh, I knew what to expect coming into my second year. Yeah, definitely, you know, it's obviously, that's what the kids in South Africa look up to, you know, myself, Albertane, Langston, they, uh, they want to be like us one day, you know, and it's, uh, you know, there's nothing that's impossible. So, you know, as long as you keep working hard, you, you're definitely going to take baby steps closer, you know, you're not going to make a, a big step overnight, but it's definitely going to be a lot of working and, uh, you know, a lot of dedication. I get to go back to South Africa at the end of the year for about three weeks to see my friends and family but um, you know obviously with the schedule here in America it's pretty busy so don't get much time off uh, obviously in the off season we're getting ready for Supercross so it's uh, you know it's uh, definitely a, a long season but uh, you know when we can get time off uh, I definitely like to head back home. You know obviously the, the team's still new to us you know we, we were a little bit behind on the testing I think you know and uh, you only really know your bike when you go racing to see where you're at and uh, you know, we've made some big improvements uh, leading into high point and uh, also for this weekend. So, you know, it's definitely hasn't been, uh, been the best start, but uh, I definitely feel that we're making big progress and looking forward to these remaining races. Yeah, it's definitely good having the week off, you know. It's, we, we had done four races in a row already and, uh, you know, just to, to be at home with the family and relax on the weekend uh, was awesome, you know. We've obviously got three more in a row now, but, um, you know, it's, uh, this is our job and this is what we do, so, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely having uh, fun having weekends off, you know, and, uh, you know, being at home, spending time with friends and family and hanging out, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, we race motorcycles and that's what we had to do.